everyone. Thanks for joining us today. I'm so excited to share with you Google Forms locked mode for quizzes. As many of you that use Google Forms know, uh, Forms is a versatile G Suite tool that's used in a variety of ways in the educational environment. Many teachers such as myself have discovered the effectiveness of using Forms not just for surveys or collecting student and family information, but now with the options of inserting images, videos, links to websites and documents, Forms has become a valuable tool for providing digital formative assessment through the quiz feature, and it allows teachers to capture that student learning data digitally. However, along with the quiz feature uh, becoming more and more used, uh, concerns have been raised over students becoming easily distracted during online testing with the ability to open new tabs and apps. And I know educators have provided a great deal of feedback asking Google uh, for ways to provide a more secure testing environment. So fortunately, Google listened and in the fall of 2018, they launched a beta version of locked mode quizzes as a way to secure the online testing. And at the beginning of the 2019 school year, the feature was released across all domains for all to use, which is wonderful. So with the lock mode turned on, teachers can secure student browsers so they can't navigate away from the screen uh, until the form is completed and submitted. This goes a long way in helping students stay focused during those assessments by eliminating the distractions and it assures teachers that students won't be browsing other websites or opening up other apps. In fact, if a student does try to open up another tab or exits the quiz, um, an email is going to automatically, automatically be generated to the teacher. Um, once the teacher receives that email, that could easily then prompt a conversation with that student to discuss reasons uh, for why they exited the quiz early. Some things to note, this feature is not available for use on iPads, PCs, or BYOD environment. Locked mode will only work on Chromebooks managed by your school through the Google Admin Console, and it does require a Chrome operating system version 75 or higher. Now you can check which Chrome operating system you have by clicking down in the right lower right hand corner by the clock going into your settings menu and going all the way down here in the left hand part, you'll see about Chrome OS and that will tell you which operating system you have. So once you have those requirements set, there are no other additional settings or adjustments that need to be made in the admin console for this feature to work. So let's see how it works in Google Forms. So whether you're using an existing forms quiz or creating a new one from scratch, getting started with the locked mode is as simple as opening up a Google form, going into the settings tab and checking a box. You can enable this feature in one of two ways and we're gonna take a closer look at each of them next. So I'm gonna get into Google Forms, which is the first way. So first is directly through Google Forms you have the option of using an existing quiz that you may have used last year or have already created or creating one from scratch by clicking on the blank quiz template. So I'm going to go ahead and open up one that I've used previously. And you're going to head over to the cogwheel settings and clicking on that. and then head over to the quizzes tab. Now it's already showing that this is a quiz. If it's not clicked, you wanna make sure that this is showing make this a quiz and it's highlighted. You see here locked mode on Chromebooks. This is the feature where you want to turn it on. So you're just gonna click that box there. If you scroll down, you still have these options available um, as you would in a general setting for creating a quiz. And again, one of the few times that you need to save for Google uh, platforms, you wanna make sure that you click save. And it's that simple, it's all ready to go. You will note here now that you see that locked mode is on and only respondents using managed Chromebooks can open the quiz. If you decide at any point that you don't want to have this 
locked mode on. You simply just click there and remove. Then you can go about as you normally would, creating your quiz or sharing it with your students through uh, the send and generating that link for your students. And you can push it out through Google Classroom or send it through an email or other uh, LMS platforms that you use. The second method of enabling locked mode is going directly through Google Classroom. So I'm going to head over to my Google Classroom and go to my classwork page and click on create and look for the quiz assignment. For those of you who are frequent Google Classroom users, the pop up screen uh, for the assignment is the same as a regular assignment. You're going to give your quiz assignment a name and give some instructions to your students. And this section here is similar to a regular assignment. You can decide whether or not it's graded or ungraded, uh, give a due date. And then if you notice in the next part here, a blank quiz template is attached to this assignment. And it's here that you can turn on the locked mode for the Chromebooks. And it's that simple. So going through Google Classroom uh, takes a few steps out of the process and it turns it on directly here. So now by clicking on this blank quiz, it will now take me to Google Forms. And if you notice here, the locked mode is automatically turned on. You also have the option of removing locked mode if you care to do so. Once you finish building your Google quiz, all you would need to do is head back over to Google Classroom, complete any remaining indicators, and either automatically assign it or schedule it to be assigned. It will show up then on your classroom classwork stream showing that you've assigned it to your students. I'm going to head over to a sample student, Google Classroom, who is part of my social studies classroom. So here we are in the student classroom. I'm going to go over to the student classwork tab. And now I can see that the sample quiz has been assigned to that student. So as with any cloud Google Classroom assignment, all a student would have to do is click and they could either view the entire assignment or just simply click on the, on the quiz form to begin the assignment. Now, because the lock mode is enabled, students will see this warning message indicating that once they start the quiz, they're not going to be able to open any tabs or apps. And if they do so, they may uh, lose any work or any recorded responses. Um, and it will also confirm their G Suite uh, account. If a student's ready to go, all they would need to do is start the quiz and all the browsers will be locked down. A few things to note once your students begin taking Google Form quizzes in locked mode. When a student enters the quiz, the quiz will open in full screen mode and it will restrict um, access to new tabs and extensions, all browser and navigation controls will be hidden. They will uh, not be able to take screenshots and copy and paste will be disabled. Um, some extensions may be enabled and I'll show you a few of them in just a moment. Um, students must submit the quiz or click an exit button in the top right corner of their screen in order to exit. Clicking exit without submitting the form um, will delete all their responses already entered. Partial responses uh, will not be saved. And at that point then, if once a student exits the quiz and then reopens that quiz, that's when the email will be generated to the teacher. And you can see at the bottom there, that is a sample of what information will be included in the email, um, letting you know what Gmail account the date, the time uh, that the test was closed, and then when it was reopened. And again, that would be a great time to uh, prompt those conversations with the students to find out more information about uh, reasons for closing 
and reopening that quiz. Some accessibility features and extensions, um, most of them will be disabled by the locked mode, but a few will be um, enabled in order to support students um, with their testing needs, such as the high contrast mode, uh, docked magnifier, and select to speak. So I always advise best practice would be to test out these features beforehand to make sure that they are available and students are aware of uh, how to access those features through the shortcuts um, when they're taking their test. Also, Google just recently released that read and write for Google Chrome would, is available for uh, locked mode quizzes, as well as um, the great math extension Equate IO is also avail available for use while in locked mode. So for students needing that additional support, those are available. But again, it's always recommended to test it out before assigning the quiz. I highly encourage you to give this feature a try for digital formative assessments. Whether you're a regular user of Google Forms or if you're a new user or just thinking about introducing digital assessments to your students, Locked Mode can provide that secure online testing environment. If you have any questions or would like more information about this feature or any other digital tool, please feel free to reach out to your district ed tech coach. Your AOP tech team is here to support you and your use of digital tools to maximize your students' learning.